Hello and welcome. It's Neil from Tax TV. Um, just a short video I'm going to be doing. Just a bit of an overview of uh, what's happened in year 2021 as you come to the new year of 2022. Um, so we'll go to the beginning of the year when obviously things were looking rosy, which were 2021 20, in January. Uh, things are things change, isn't it? But We'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Uh, so, yeah, January 2021, uh, saw the likes of DK and Morris came in because back then, you know, under Ishmael, we were going for uh, a push uh, since when he took over. Uh, took us from out of doldrums, October, and started going on to a bit of a push. Came in to do a job, and I think it's, it's, it exceeded, sorry, all expectations. Um uh, We'd have been probably happy if it had been mid-table, but went on an unbelievable run, all down to what he'd done. Obviously, uh, Ishmael, he wanted everybody's cup of tea. So, you know, it's football, what we played. It was direct. Obviously, no fans in yet. Uh, did that help players out? Some said it will do. Some said it shouldn't be playing under fans. And a bit of a debate we could have there. But end of the day, would you take that now? I think, We'd all, we'd all agree, but going back to January, you know, so well, like likes of DK come in, Carlton Morris. Uh, fair to say that we went on, DK didn't start straight away, did he? What we were on bench, he was still finding his feet or match fitness or whatever, uh, whatever what were happening. Had a few up and down results coming into it, uh, going into playoffs, you know, we were like a bit of squeaky bum time. Are we going to make it? Are we not? And we did, we ended up making it. We ended up making it in playoffs. And um, that's when the ballot system opened up for allowing it. Obviously, we could allow a percentage of your fans in. Um, I were unlucky not to get a, a, you know, to be successful. But then fans what did go were lucky enough to see um, DK and lucky enough to see Ishmael. Unfortunately, we lost out in playoffs. Um, at this point in time, there were more uncertainty growing about Alex Mowit. As you all know, he were out of contract and we offered, you know, certain in contractual improvements, but he felt they want to move elsewhere. Ishmael, uh, West Brom paid the compensation for Ishmael to go. Uh, not long after, apart from taking his background staff, Adam Murray and all that. Uh, not long after that, is that uh, Adam uh, Alex Mowit left to join? Was it a surprise? I think vast majority said no, not really. I think once we knew we weren't signing, I think it'd been a different story if we'd been promoted to Promised Land. Um, I think Ishmael would have probably stayed. My own opinion. You may agree, disagree. If you don't, please like comments and that below. I always read through them. I always reply back. Um, but unfortunately, we we missed out on playoffs. Still a good season, so I'm concerned because, like, when when you look where we were, we were, you know, we, it wants a good place, and then it it, it did it did well. Um, obviously, when a manager comes in and does that, they're going to have admirers from elsewhere. Crystal Palace at one point will also link with him, uh, with Ishmael as well. So more on to passes new. Summer came, obviously after Euros, England, you know. What could have been against Italy? Uh, enjoyed it. Not the losing defeat, obviously, but enjoyed the experience on England doing well, you know. Um, some good times. We're all right. We're all right. And it was more or less a quick turnaround for getting back to Barnsley, uh, getting back to back in league, being able to watch them. Uh, miss that, miss that a lot. Uh, missed it a lot with my son. And season ticket holder with uh, me and my son, so I miss that. I know he's my son and that, uh, but I just want to give a shout out to him because it's always nice to have a meet up with him. Uh, meet up in pub, have a banter, uh, see mates who we haven't seen for quite some time, to be fair. Uh, and it's not just mates what you see in pub, it's not what you see walking down and stuff. Seeing your friends in stand, um, because you can sit aside uh, your friends and family close to you 
but it's people around you, you know, the old chap across from me who was, oh, and it's like the chap across from me when you can like, have a word with me, you hope he's going to come through COVID, you know, and it, I'm not getting morbid, I'm not, but it's like emotional times for everybody. Uh, people who have sadly passed away, not like, uh, not to like forget that. Um, just have to gather my things here a bit, but people have sadly passed away through COVID and you haven't seen them in stand. So, yeah. A bit of an emotional thing there, but there has been people that's been sadly passed away and it, I get it, it's every walk of life, but when when you see them in stands, you don't really know them, know them but when you get there, it's like, a, it's like our family. You all can have opinions, different opinions about stuff. Um, looking at different opinions about stuff about football, and that's what makes this game beautiful. So, getting back to football, just getting a bit emotional here because there's been some people that have um, pretty close around us in stand what have passed away. Getting back to football side, it was nice to get back and actually see people. Um, like I said, it's that bad experience. Shop came in, obviously. Uh, minus the captain Mowit had gone a few players have come in uncertainty uh, Dave Murphy had also left the Nottingham Forest so we didn't really have a CEO at the time recruitment could have probably been better looking back on hindsight you can see stuff like now but when you look back then what was expectations I think we all knew that we were kind of overachieved uh, last season un- unbelievable run I'd have been happy for mid-table top 10. Um, but we all knew it was going to be an hard season to replicate, especially like losing influential people. I, you know, manager, background staff, certain players, what were going to make a difference, DK, you know it, it's all Bowers and that. But it's a new season, we all live in hope and we always keep faith, don't we? Uh, set off against Coventry. Uh, got a nice a win there. Some people say fortunate win, Coventry should have won, but a win's a win, three points, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and I take it back now. Morris picked up an injury, which was scuppered him for a, a couple of months. That was him out for a you know him, you know affected. Some people say it affects Barnsley as such. Uh, you can agree, disagree with that. Some people say one person will not make a difference, but. Something like that, it not make a difference one person, but it can make a difference for people around you, the people that the players where you can bring in. Um went on and then fair to say, results haven't been going as well. But, uh people have been asking, not just Barnsley fans, but obviously on Tikes TV, I get a lot of people from other clubs, not just uh coming on comments on Tikes TV, which I do appreciate, by the way. But uh, messaging me, private messaging me, liking stuff, uh, comparing things with air clubs, Millwall, Notts Forest, Coventry, Birmingham, Blackpool, Celtic fans. You know, it's it's nice to get a broad mixture, variety of fans, uh, Everton fans uh, coming on and having an input because the end of the day, football is, it's my bread and butter. I like I like football, um, I like cricket, I like any sport really, but, you know, it's, it's my town, it's, you you know, <laughs> it's pride, passion, it's our club, isn't it? It's our club. Uh, obviously, then I, me and Luke Goddard, took over Tykes TV because um, that looked like it was going to be stopping. So me and Luke Goddard uh, went into talks and go and take it on um, I'm doing Luke's doing all his uh, opinions and his fan cams and stuff like that because unfortunately we I'd love to do fan cams and that but after the game I've got to take my son and back to work and which and we all know what traffic is so that's one of the reasons why I'd love to do fan cams uh, once I took my son to work and you know I've got to take him He's got and he's got to be there straight away, kind of thing with a job a line of work that he's in. So and we never leave early. We never leave early. Uh, we always stay till end, regardless if we won, draw, or loss. Um, and I always I always stay till end. 
So when we hit traffic, it's one of them things. So I do apologise on my behalf. But um, when Elton up fan comes, Luke will do it. But again, he lives a fair distance away. So he'll do it when he can. Um, I will... I've, I've no question. Uh, any anybody who wants to wants to get home uh, in that evening, if anybody wants to do a fan cam, I, I ain't got a problem. I can do a Zoom. I can do a one on one Zoom thing and get your opinion of it. Uh, if that's what you're interested in doing, drop me a, a message, and I will absolutely do that hundred uh, percent. Get more people for engagement on. I'm not a problem whatsoever. If you want to do a fan cam, I don't like that uh, on Zoom meetings. So I'm going off the thing a bit like over review. But yeah, I took over. The, uh, me and Luke got out to cover. I uh, do all editing, I do all the content, do all, you know, everything behind the scenes kind of thing, you know what I mean? So obviously all mics, cameras, lights, monitors and everything like that, I, I, do, I do all that. Uh, and Luke will give me content, what it, what he's got. He'll input, I like ever I talk to Luke about certain things, get more fan engagement and maybe we can go with it. Uh, so yeah, a season we're going downhill. Obviously, we he don't like league, does it? Under shop, uh, people will be blaming shop. What did he get back to winter in uh, summer? I don't think he did. I don't think he got uh, bats really. He could have. I think they could have got. I got to watch more. I, I think they could have recruited better. Uh, we had uh, Alaire and uh, Izaki came in. That were a, another issue with or saying it were going to be fitness issues and it turned out to be visa. So they didn't start to come straight in straight away. So that had an often effect, bearing in, uh, bearing in mind that Morris were out injured. Um, midfield, we let Irby uh, Kane go out on loan to Oxford and he could have possibly done a job in uh, mid in midfield with Mowick going. And I'll be one of the people to say that Last season, I don't think uh, Irby Kane pulled up any trees, but in the same respect, I don't think the system was suited for him uh, because we tend to like bypass a lot of midfield with his play with this season. I'll be playing it. I think he could have benefited being in there. So we've got Benson. We've been thinking about with Benson and Undermark and Gomez and Palmer. They've been, it's not been a settled, settled system, settled way of playing. Uh, which left to uh, left to shops downfall after the results what haven't been going. Uh, so during the international break, I didn't, uh, you know, we we're still without a manager kind of thing or coach, a coach, whatever you want to call them. I prefer managers, but I know we don't manage as such. We like coaches now. Rumours are going about, but it wouldn't be, you know, Wilder, what top at list, and Middlesbrough came in and did that. Other managers were rumoured to be about Hans Wolf always seems to get mentioned all the time. Um, I think because I know Alex Neil won't book his listings and you can go for on, can't you? You know, you can say like a one at what mentioned, but being realistic, he'd never come in because he'd be too strong of a manager in in mind, in, in mouth, he'd, he'd be too strong of a person. I think thought Boer, um he won't he won't he won't accept it in a in only certain terms to tell him, but he, he won't happy with it. Could he come in and do the short-term job at the end of the year to rescue us? I think he would have done. I, I think he'd have shook it up. Um, strong willed, strong character, and we all know what Warnock is. But not just Warnock, there's other, other managers out there. You look, you, you can like look back on what Wilder's done, what, what he's achieved. Uh, not a city manager, Daniel Farker. Um, he could have come in and done a job as well. But again, it's down to wages and stuff. We ended up with uh, Paye Ashbarji. Never heard him before, if I'm being honest. Uh, soon as the rumour started circulating uh, Yorkshire Post and on Twitters and stuff like that in on uh, Radio Sheffield, I did some even look at him and I know he'd worked with IFK Gothenburg, with young players. Uh, but after a while, it started going, didn't start going the way. So we ended up with... Uh, Sweden under 21s uh, played against Irish under 21s, and then not long after, he got announced that he was going to be Bowles's head coach, coach, manager, whatever you want to term it, word it. 
So that being said, he brought in his assistants and get on with it kind of thing. You know what I mean? It was see what difference can do. Uh, in this time, the CEO had done a fans forum meeting. The West Stand had been deemed as not fit, not suited, not suitable. Uh, fit for purpose, condemned. I, if you want to word that, I don't know how it was because at the time it got announced by CEO, um, I was reading up uh, Paul Conway, Gene Crine, James Crine, were all unaware. They didn't have a clue about it. Even council, the past fire inspection back in September, where this new CEO came in, he said he wanted works doing on it, well, not fit for fans and all that, but yet the media and hospitality were still being able to go up there, the way players were wanting squad were able to go up there, our players were still able to go up, so if you condemn something, surely it's got to be condemned for all, not just certain ones, I don't know. But So that happened, so that wasn't a, a great thing, what happened in 2021. Together with the fans having to relocate elsewhere in ground or have a refund. So bear in mind that these fans had been there for, some had been there decades, um, been told that, you know, yeah, we'll have to take your money off you for a season ticket. And a month or two later, it's like, right, now you need to sit over there or sit over there or you can have a refund. So that will be bad PR and is a comment what came out from him or uh, Khalid or, or sorry, yeah, it could have been handled better. And yeah, it could have been a lot better, to be fair. So moving on from Ben, players took charge uh, and as we speak now, uh, New Year's Eve, still without a win after seven games. He's got some draws, but Still looking for that elusive win. Uh, we're looking in 2022 now. Nah, bit of hope, bit of belief, grasping on to whatever hope we've got. Hoping that January can come and make a difference is in, in transfer window. Uh, we'll, we'll see when we move on. Um, again, going back to West End, that's going to get opened up on the Stoke City game. But I think it's 12th, 12th of January, 12th or 13th of January. I think it's 12th. Uh, it's going to be opened up again. So whatever has happened with the works, we'll see what happens when fans are allowed to go back in. That's about it, really. It's it's just about a bit of a quick review on what's happened in 2021 from how it started. We, you know, we're talking about... Ishmael and playoffs and like position that we are now, so a bit of a fall from grace. When you know, um, would we have been, you know, we'd have still been upbeat if we'd have been mid table, uh, being honest. But again, when you look back on where we were beginning of the year of January, and then you can see after a year where we are now, league table don't lie. <coughs> Sorry, uh, league table don't lie. So, got to be optimistic. Got to be, you know, it's our club. It's it's all about them, Barnsley, our club. It's belief. It's hard to watch when you can see things happening or not happening. What I were wanting it to expect, but us as fans, we still stick by his club. You know, we still fit bad times and good, but was more bad times and very good at the minute. Um, things need to happen. You know, things need to happen and happen quickly and swiftly. We're just like going into 2022 with belief and hope, uh, grasping onto it. So we're all like open that it can be. Um, it'd be nice to be going in, not having to hope, if you know what I mean. But all part and parcel of being a Barnsley fan, I think, at the minute, innit? Uh, so yeah, I haven't got a glass to raise, but. Just want to wish everybody uh, an happy new year, a safe new year, uh, friends and family. It's been an hard year for a lot of people as well. 
uh, obviously going back through all things, you know, people, uh, circumstances, let's put it that way. So, yeah, um, obviously, I won't, we've all had a good Christmas. Moving into 2022, uh, let's keep the faith. It's, I don't know, but let's keep the faith. Uh, wish you all a happy new year, uh, an healthy new year, a safe new year. Uh, just one thing to say, as I always do, you reds. <laughs>